वेलकम टू द चैप्टर प्लेइंग विथ मैग्नेट्स दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर Let us study about the different shapes of magnet. In our daily life, we see different shapes of magnets. Some of the usual shapes of magnets are bar magnet, horseshoe magnet, ring magnet, and disc magnet. Usually, magnets are made of steel or iron. However, special alloys of iron, nickel, copper, cobalt and aluminium can be used to make into powerful magnets neodymium is the strongest magnet currently known here let us do an activity to find the materials attracted to the magnets click each tab to know more collect some objects of day to day use from our surroundings like pen bottle jump clips book coin and key take a bar magnet now touch the each object with the bar magnet and observe the changes From this activity we observe that some of these objects like jump clips coin and key get attracted to the bar magnet while the other objects like pen bottle and book not attracted to the bar magnet thus we learn that the materials that are attracted by magnets or called magnetic materials like iron nickel and cobalt the materials that are not attracted by magnets or called non magnetic materials like plastic wood and paper magnets have the property of attracting materials like iron based on this property of magnets they are used to separate some mixtures Let us do an activity to know the directions with a bar magnet. Click each tab to know more. Place a retort stand on a table. Take a bar magnet. Tie a thread at the middle of the bar magnet. Now, suspend it freely from the retort stand and wait until the bar magnet comes to rest. Observe the directions of the bar magnet. Now, disturb the magnet and again wait until it comes to rest. Once again, observe the directions of the bar magnet. Repeat the same process for 3 times or more times. We observe that a freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in a particular or same direction which is the north south direction. We learned that the end of the magnet that points towards geographical north is called its north pole of the magnet. The other end that points towards the geographical south is known as south pole of the magnet. This property of magnets is called directional property. It is exhibited only by magnets. We use this property to make the magnetic compass.
Let us study about the magnetic compass. A compass is usually a small box with a glass covering it and consists of a small pointed magnet which is suspended freely. A freely suspended magnet always aligns in north-south direction. The red-colored magnetic needle points to north direction. Once we know north direction, we can easily find out the other directions. A compass is used to find directions. It is mostly used in ships and airplanes. Mountaineers and army people also carry a compass with them so that they do not lose their way in an unknown place. Note Don't place compass and magnets together. The compass was used hundreds of years ago by Chinese sailors. Let us do an activity to learn the simplest method of making a magnetic compass. Click each tab to know more. Take some water in a bowl and place it on the table. Put a lightweight transparent dish on the water surface. Make sure that the transparent disc floats in water bowl. Now, take a magnetizer needle. Place the needle into the center of the dish and wait until the needle comes to rest. Observe the direction of the needle. Now, disturb the needle and again wait until the needle comes to rest. Once again, observe its direction. We observe that the needle always comes to rest in a particular direction, which is the north-south direction. From this activity, we learn that the needle always points in north-south direction. Thus, it acts as a magnetic compass. Let us do a lab activity to know the attraction and repulsion between magnets. Click each tab to know more. The aim of the lab activity is to know the attraction and repulsion force between the magnets. The materials used in this lab activity are retort stand, two bar magnets, thread. Place a retort stand on the table. Take a bar magnet. Tie a thread at the middle of the bar magnet. Now suspend it freely from the retort stand and wait until the bar magnet comes to rest. Now take another bar magnet and hold it in your hand. Bring its north pole near the north pole of the suspended bar magnet and observe the changes. Now bring the north pole near the south pole of the suspended bar magnet and observe the changes. In this activity, we also observe that when the north pole of a bar magnet is brought near the north pole of the suspended bar magnet, both the bar magnets get repelled to each other. Similarly, we also observe that when the north pole of a bar magnet is brought near the south pole of the suspended bar magnet, both bar magnets get attracted to each other. From this activity, we learn that unlike poles of two magnets always attracts each other and like poles of two magnets always repel each other. Let us do another activity to know the magnetic property of the earth. Click each tab to know more. Take a bar magnet and label it as A. Take another bar magnet 
and label it as B. Suspend the bar magnet B over the bar magnet A with the help of a thread. Observe the direction in which the suspended bar magnet, bar magnet B, comes to rest. Bar magnet B should be fairly close to the bar magnet A. Now, disturb the suspended bar magnet and wait until it comes to rest. Once again, observe the direction of the suspended bar magnet. We observe that the suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in the direction of the bar magnet placed on the table. Similarly, we also observe that one pole of the bar magnet A attracts the north pole of the freely suspended bar magnet B while the other pole of the bar magnet A repels the north pole of the freely suspended bar magnet B. Finally, we conclude that the north pole of the suspended bar magnet points towards the south pole of the bar magnet placed on the table, whereas south pole of the suspended bar magnet points towards the north pole of the bar magnet placed on the table. From this activity, we learn that the at possesses magnetic property which acts upon the suspended bar magnet. Note, the Earth's magnetic field is like a bar magnet at the center. Magnetic Objects An object which is attracted by one pole of the bar magnet and repelled by its other pole is treated as a magnet. Similarly, objects which are attracted by both the poles of a bar magnet and not repelled by any pole are treated as magnetic substances but not as a magnet. If an object is neither attracted nor repelled by a magnet, then we can say that the object is neither a magnet nor a magnetic substance. Let us do an activity to learn about the magnetic property that is magnetic induction. Click each tab to know more. Take a bar magnet in one hand. Bring one pole of a bar magnet near to your safety pin. Observe the changes. Now, take a needle and touch it to the safety pin. Observe the changes. From this activity, we observe that the needle gets attached to the safety pin which acts as a magnet when it is in contact with a magnet. From this activity, we learn that the safety pin acts as a magnet when it is in contact with another magnet because magnetic property is induced in safety pin due to the bar magnet. Magnetic property possessed by a magnetic substance due to the presence of a magnet near it is called magnetic induction. Drag the images which fall into the appropriate groups and click submit button to verify the answers. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding.
Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click Answer for your reference. Drawing Skills This section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Follow-up work List out the magnetic and non-magnetic materials in your classroom. Using a compass, find the direction in which windows and entrance to your house or classroom open. Test your understanding of the lesson by taking the mock unit test.